Hey, Luke, just to start in that in the fourth quarter there, how are you thinking about the rotation and going to the bench and the starters? What, what are you looking for, and how is that thought process going through? Um, I, well, I took the starters off a little early in the, in the third because they didn't get back in transition defense, which is our number one key to being a good defensive team is getting back in transition defense, which we've done a phenomenal job of all year long. But... Um, you know, we, we talked about how important that third quarter was with how the momentum of the game was changing and them being a playoff team. Uh, so we can't afford to give those up. So as a teaching lesson, uh, we took them out a little earlier than I would have normally done. Uh, Bench did a phenomenal job again, but they kind of looked like they were getting tired. They had a longer third, third quarter run. Um, and you know, some nights it's the bench's job to just get that lead or keep you around, and then you put the starters back in, and they're supposed to finish it for you. And unfortunately, uh, we didn't get back on defense again. With you know four minutes to go in a in a close, winnable game, uh, you can't just give away free points. So uh, to let them know how serious we are about transition defense, they got pulled out again. So it was more about when you put the bench back in. It was more about that than the starters play. At that point. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, we were gonna let the starters uh, see what they could do with that game, um, but when they didn't get back on a transition break, they kind of are telling me or telling each other that they're not. You know, they don't really want to finish that game. Um, so we went back to the to the second unit that uh, that actually really did a good job those last couple minutes uh, as far as getting stops and competing was concerned. Luke, obviously it's early in the season, but are you to the point now where you, you think about with Lonzo's shot and whether or not it's going to fall at a high enough percentage? No, uh, his shot's going to be fine. Um, you know, with Lonzo, we just, you know, we want him to just keep getting comfortable out there, keep pushing. He's getting clean looks. Uh, he makes a lot of those on the practice floor. Um, and, you know, he gets his work in. So um, not, not too concerned five games in. Luke, what are the challenges for you when you when trying to figure out what the rotation should be when you don't have, you know, two or three guys who are clearly at the top, you know, mm -hmm. all star type players, and about eight guys who are kind of arguably at the same level? Um, I mean, it, it, it's finding lineups that uh, are finding what group is gonna play to the level that we need to play at. I mean, that's it. There's, we don't have, um, you know, KCP and Brooke have been around a while. Uh, you know, they've proven what they do in the NBA. Um, you know, the, our young guys have to realize, like, this is, this is uh, an opportunity. This is uh, a privilege. To, to get these type of opportunities. And you got to go out there and take those and, and, and play um, extremely hard if you want to win at this level, especially without, uh, you know, the mega superstars on the team. So, um, you know, we're going to keep we're going to keep playing. I love the way I, I, I'm thrilled with the way we played tonight. Honestly, I mean, we, we competed our, our tails off. We had a 17 point lead. We were winning in all the the statistical categories, except for the dang turnovers. We keep throwing that ball around on fast breaks like we don't care about, uh, you know, about scoring those points and it's killing us right now. But the way that they competed and the way that they fought on defense was really uh, impressive. And, uh, you know, that's another good game they put together on the defensive end, which has been our priority all of camp. So uh, I told them to pick their heads up, let it hurt, it should hurt, and let's get, uh, let's get on the plane and go to Utah.